here in the i button and in the description box below you will get complete playlist of numerical methods or numerical analysis okay welcome to video number one and in this particular video we are going to see in brief that is rules for rounding off okay so let us start the first rule says that if the digit to be dropped is smaller than five then the preceding digit is left unchanged okay let us take one example 2.4341257 okay and let suppose you want to find up to four decimal places that is up to this so 2.434 what about the fourth, fourth digit after decimal yes we need to see just next digit that is two okay if the digit to be dropped we want to drop this two because we want to write up to four decimal places so we want to drop this two okay so what we need to do is if this number is less than five or you can say smaller than five then the preceding digit is left unchanged so this one will remain unchanged okay now coming to second rule okay if the digit to be dropped is greater than five okay if the digit to be dropped is greater than five then the preceding digit is increased by one okay again let us take one example that is 2.4354785 and we want to find up to four decimal places okay yes that is 2.435 what about the fourth decimal place yes here you can see the digit to be dropped is what seven now this seven is greater than five so we can say the preceding digit that is yes this four okay preceding digit means four okay because we want to drop this seven so the preceding digit of this seven will be four so the preceding digit is increased by one so four plus one that is five okay so this is the answer up to four decimal places now coming to rule number three if the digit to be dropped is five followed by non-zero digits then the preceding digit is increased by one what does it mean yes let us take one example 15.284351 and you want to find up to four decimal places so after decimal we need to take four places that is 15.284 what about the fourth digit after four decimal places yes here you can see the digit to be dropped is what five okay now this five is followed by a non zero digit that is one since we have a non zero digit after this five so we have to increase this by one okay if the digit to be dropped is five followed by non zero digits then the preceding digit is increased by one you have this five which has to be dropped okay now this is followed by again a non zero digit is the preceding digit will be increased by one so this will be four okay because three plus one will become four now coming to the fourth rule that is if the digit to be dropped is five then the preceding digit is left unchanged if it is even okay so the digit if the digit to be dropped is five then the preceding digit is left unchanged if it is even now take one example that is 21.23465 okay and you want to find up to four decimal places let's suppose so 21.234 now what about this six yes we have to take up to four decimal places now here you can see the fifth digit after decimal is what five okay let's suppose you have some digit after this five then we have to go for rule number three okay now there is no non-zero digit after five so if you want to drop this number now you have to look after this digit since this digit is even so this will be unchanged that is six why because this is even number fine now coming to last rule if the digit to be dropped is five then the preceding digit is increased by one when if it is odd okay example 134.20315 okay and you want to take up to four decimal places so here again you can see we have to drop this five and nothing is beyond this five okay 
let's suppose 5 is followed by some digit which is non zero then in that case we have to go for rule number 3 but here again we have no non zero digit after this 5 so we have to go for the preceding digit and this is 1 1 is an odd number so we have to increase by 1 so this will become 134.2032 why we have increased this by 1? Because this number, this fourth digit, okay, after this decimal, fourth digit is an odd number, okay. Had this been even number, so this would have been unchanged, okay. Yes, this will be unchanged and if it is odd, then we have to increase by 1, okay. Thank you, thank you so much.